In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. We pause to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scriptures, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the font of life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through, through, through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me the statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you, let me not stray from your commands. Lord, Lord teach me your statutes. statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, Lord teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, Lord teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Jesus asked them, Do you understand these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like a head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we <clears throat> celebrate Saint Jerome, who is a priest and a doctor of the church, who lived in the third century and is the first one to have translated sacred scripture into the language of the people. That is Latin. And the, la the, the translation was called the Vulgate for vulgar, which we think of as a nasty word, but it simply means the language, the vulgar language was the language of the people, the language of the intellectuals was still Greek <clears throat> in those days. Greek was the language of the classics. So he translates the Bible for the first time 
into Latin, and pretty much to this day, that version of the Bible is still in use, although it has been updated and things have been changed and refined in terms of translation. St. Jerome was the first, and he says, as he is teaching and as he is studying the scriptures, that ignorance of scriptures is ignorance of Christ. Now we hear Paul talking about scriptures too and saying how they are good for salvation and leading people to holiness. You have to remember when Paul was saying this, the gospels were not written yet. There were no four gospels. There were only the teachings, the verbal teachings of all the apostles. And for Paul, his letters become the first things that are included into the New Testament of scriptures. So St. Jerome also says, as Paul is teaching here, that how important the scriptures, the Hebrew scriptures are, because they can be used for teaching and interpretation and are very important and essential. In Paul's day, that's all the scriptures they had to teach from. Ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. And Jerome wanted to make sure that everyone had access to understanding the scriptures, so he translated it into the language of the people. We too need to be knowledgeable of God's word, whether given from Christ or before Christ. All scripture is for interpretation. All scripture is for inspiration. Let us then be true lovers of God's word. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> In your great compassion, Lord, hear these our prayers. For the church, may the Lord raise up for her glory modern saints and scholars in the likeness of St. Jerome, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the whole world, may it know the peace and salvation of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For families in difficult circumstances, may God guide them through trials and comfort them in their distress, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all gathered here today, may the Lord help us to be more attentive in understanding his word and putting it into action, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering in any way, may Jesus, the divine physician, touch them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Bruce Young, who died recently, may they know the fullness of God's love this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. If any of you have a particular intention this morning. For my sister-in-law, The Lord, hear our prayer. For one of our young parishioners uh, who was 15 years old, uh, Fidel, a member of the Hispanic community who was killed yesterday on Philadelphia Pike when he was hit by a car riding his bike. For his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear these and all of our prayers, for we ask them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, 
Following the example of St. Jerome, we may eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For as on the festival of St. Jerome you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Fidel and Bruce who died recently. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Jerome and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray now together our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow and by following it, obtain life everlasting. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a good day, all. Thank you, Father. Father, where did the boy get him? Where now? On Philip.